Hello everyone. I am right outside of Creek Cowl today and guess who I got over there? Yes. Zoe. She rejoined me again for another hike this time. Uh, she, she, she's the initiator of this <laughs> one. Um, so probably we're not going to be getting lost as we normally are, as I am, as oh, I, am, as I normally am, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, too much pressure on you today. <laughs> right, uh, I don't know how this place is called, I'll probably try to mention some, some of the milestones that we're going to be hitting as we go along, but yeah, cars are parked somewhere there in the woods and we did quite steep climb, not difficult, but it just kept going on and on and on and on, yeah. and it's, uh, I think there's a little bit left of it. Yeah. Uh, just started to drizzle, unfortunately. But that's just how we do it. We, yeah, we, we yeah. go on hikes in yeah. Wales and we get soaking wet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, I have forgotten my tripod for camera, so all the angles are going to be uh, ridiculous today. <laughs> Trying to hold, you'll see fingers in there and everything. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Right, we have just made it to the top of the Table Mountain. First milestone on this route. We're about 14 feet above the sea level. Ah, oh, the views are absolutely amazing. They're stunning. Look at this. Amazing. We're only about 26 minutes away from yesterday's bike park Wales visit. Uh, I think Zoe travelled for about an hour to get yeah, here from Bristol. <sighs> Look at that. Somebody left their bag here. <laughs> this checkpoint for the Mountain Challenge event on Saturday the 4th of March, that was yesterday. Oh, hmm. We just missed the challenge! Walking festival. Have a look what's on this side. This is gorgeous. Wow. I right, have a little bit of a scramble to do. There's Zoe coming down on the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, you see, I've not hurt myself enough yet. <laughs> Yet I'm so stiff, a little bit aching from yesterday's crash in Bike Park Wales. Uh, it's windy, I hope you can hear me on this camera. A steep one, short but steep.
right so we have reached another milestone on this on this route we've came from somewhere there you can't see anymore that's it we're up in the clouds it's called Penkerikalg I hope I pronounce it right anyway it's uh, just over 2300 feet above the sea level yeah, 707 meters 707 meters thank you Zoe <laughs> and it's foggy foggy okay let's go kind of like fog as well it's uh adds a different atmosphere to the hike when you have stuff appearing from the from the fog like all these different shapes and all sorts we have to be up there somewhere like another hundred like, meters yeah going up, up somewhere <laughs> over it, there i think it is almost like directly in front of us it should be right there <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we can't see it <laughs> yeah we can't see it oh, let's carry on fog goes out fog goes in fog goes out fog goes in enjoy while you can because <laughs> it's probably gonna go back in the fog in a bit Yeah, you can actually see the fog moving. Coming in again. Yeah. This this is the thing. This is what I was just talking to Zoe about with the fog. You have to catch a moment to capture your stuff. just come to another spot which is called Pen Old Moor yeah I correct so. probably, probably pronouncing it wrong um, yeah I 100% do <laughs> yeah but uh, beautiful views up here. you can see a little bit like I said look thick fog is coming in to cover all this and it's just in and out in and out in and out it's kind of like you walk in the fog in anticipation when is it gonna open up when I'm gonna see something Right, we're gonna crack on because we're gonna get cold otherwise. Mm -hmm. nice. and bright over there so we've just come from over there this path that follows all the way down by right, the looks of it we have to go all the way across there I think so and then down and then down a little bit at the end ah just give you a little bit of a explanation of where we were started behind that hill like climbed up behind it and then walked on top of it on the ridge there on top of this one can't remember how it's called but then we got down and followed the path all the way around over here and we're sort of looping it out now, making it a loop and it sh should just be going down all the time now oh, yeah, lovely walk Zoe, lovely walk enjoying it so far it was really foggy at, at, at some points but uh, not too bad rain is gone, everything is gone yeah. perfect yeah, we're just, we're just coming to sort of the end of our loop we've been all the way on top there walked ooh, all across oh, very nice hike about 15 kilometers altogether 
And you were up to a thousand feet of elevation, or meters, should I say? Yeah. <laughs> and you were up to a thousand meters of elevation. down this lovely little path lovely little trail just going down back to the cars or similar something like that I think that's the way back to the cars down all this circuit is nearly over down all the big peaks some lovely views Oh, this trail is lovely. So this is it, friends. The circle near Creek Howl is coming to the end. Thank you very much, Zoe, for bringing me around and making me do this. It was a nice route. It was a nice route. A little bit of everything. Yeah, especially when I showed you the better ways. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's sure. not. We actually got lost and we <laughs> was off the path for a little bit. Yeah. Thanks to uh, Dimitri, the pathfinder. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but after we got back and carried on with our normal route and it's looking really good. And the time we're going to get back to the car. It's just a, a mellow tarmacy walk from now back to the car. Yeah, well, thank you very much for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe for more interesting videos. I'll see you in the next one.